Welcome back for more Sims 3 Island Paradise. So it's been a while since we had an episode out. Apologies for that. Going through some stuff. But here we are once again. And a lot of you have actually asked about Dave and his wife starting a family. Well, I can see that. And I think it's about time they got a hint started as well. Because they have the same belief. They want to go ahead and have their first child. Then why not, right? So let's go ahead and get this baby train on a roll here. We'll send her up. We'll have Dave, who can't seem to stay awake. I don't know why, but... Wake up, Dave. Come on. You can't do it while you're sleeping. That's just how it goes, buddy. And once we get started... We'll get started! If that makes any kind of sense. I don't even know what I just said. But anyway, yes. I wonder if the baby will come out as a... A mermaid baby. Mermaid baby. How to get it wet? You put it right in the fish tank. All right, relax. Dave, no. No, bad Dave. Stop trying to go to sleep. Relax. Chill. Sheesh. Yes. No. No. Try there we go. Try for baby. They'll woohoo and try for a baby. And then with any luck, maybe we'll have something. If not, we'll just keep trying till we we do. So, I think it's, like I said, it's about time they got settled down, had a family. Where are the babies going to stay? I'm assuming in the old bedroom? Okay, you two, come on. Well, I like that sound. That's good sound indeed. So, while those two sleep it off, I know Dave's going to go ahead and sleep it off. How are we doing over here business-wise? Oh, uh, yes, the awkwardness of the first romantic encounter won't be forgotten. What? They've gotten romantic before. Don't give me that game. Dave Jameson just woohooed with Jenna Jameson for the first time. What? Oh, there is a glitch somewhere because we know that that can't be true. That, that just can't be true. I'm about ready to go back and look through previous episodes to make sure that's not true. What? No, I, I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe all that. Whatever. At least we have a shot for a family and that's all good. Things over here though look dead. That's not a good sign. Nope, oh, oh, we got a visitor. Alright, well, go ahead and enjoy the hot fire walk over there. Or maybe not enjoy the hot fire walk over there. Whatever. How about try some of our fine cuisine? We have all kinds of fine cuisine over here. Look, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while. Or you can enjoy our fine pool, which has a waterfall in it, and stuff like that. Okay, well, he's going to go enjoy the pool. Well, that's good. All right, what about you, Dave? How are you doing? Oh, my goodness, you, you can barely stay awake. And you got to go to work in an hour? Oh, my goodness, you are going to be terrible. You are not going to have anything. Well, that sucks. And Glenn, Glenn has got to go get hydrated. What What happened? Why are you feeling flaky? Have a drink. Have a drink. I think you need to have a swim, my dear. You are going to hydrate out of there. As in dehydrate. I don't even know what I just said. Alright, since Dave's at work, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the reviews, which you clearly see here. And everyone's complaining about the midnight shift, so I went ahead and hired some help for the midnight shift. Clearly, I think we got to the point where we have to have it, or else you're going to have very upset people. One says she got here late with a delayed flight, and there was no one at the desk, so she had to get, wait till the morning, which was like 9 a.m. Ugh. One woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't get any food because there was no help at the front desk, so, once again, sucks. I was hungry often during the vacation. I was sad to experience the lack of food choices. What? Get out of here. If you don't get veggies in your diet, your body will end up unhappy, just like this review. What? What are you talking about? I have a wide variety of food here. I do not want to hear that crap. You got dim sum, you got hamburgers and cheese steaks, which is my favorite, and you got fish, and, well, we don't have vegetables, but look, don't knock it. Don't knock it. I'll buy you another table, but knock it off. Just knock it off with the reviews. And we got to go ahead and get this. Can I get another one? We will put you... I don't want to put it by the pool. No one likes wet veggies. That's not a good thing to have. Put you there. Do that. 
And then with that, we will have food type, vegetarian, up the utmost food quality. As, yes, 20 simoleon upkeep. Keep up on those cheese tofu steaks. Ew, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Not knocking any vegetarians out there. Not at all. Not knocking you guys, but just saying. I am not a vegetarian. Mm. Uh, Veggie rolls, okay. There, everyone should be happy. I don't want to hear you complain. If you don't like it, then get the heck off my island. I'll go build on a better island and do stuff. Okay, has the graveyard shift started yet? No. Dave, bursting with energy. Work out until you become pumped to improve your athletic skills. No. Dave, you don't have time for that crap. I was going to say, you got to get to work, buddy. You got to make them simoleons. We're going to improve this two-bit resort. What are you doing? No, don't start a balloon fight with her. Who is at the front desk right now? Right, we have the graveyard shift set up. That's good. Operate the front... No, I'm not operating the front desk. And whatever. What about these things? Uh, tug of room service currently on. They took a little one. We need to have the best. We have the best room service. And we got that done. All right, let's take one look at resort management and make sure everything looks good. Resort crew. Maintenance crew. All right, I will give you one more medium. One more. There, it's two. Other than that, that is it. Before I start increasing the price on this resort. Because y'all are not getting it cheap. Oh my goodness. Resort management. Set resort stay pricing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's affordable. No, we're going to go moderate. You are going to pay out the bum now because we are we are upping the ante, so to speak. You're getting more food. You're getting more cleaning. You are getting it all. Don't give me all that crap. Um, Improve resort. No, back. We want to go ahead and... Maintenance crew. Okay, you know what? I think we may be happy with this. We will let it ride for the night now. Well. Well, it's spooky day. Dave can't get rest. Apparently. And, well. Things just gone crazy. <laughs> so, Dave, try to get some rest. You had a long night at work. You've got, like, basically no energy. Glenda keeps throwing up because she's pregnant. And now she wants to get some food. You want to go ahead and get some rest as well, my dear. You're going to need it. Everybody's going to freaking need it. Just go get some rest. At least Dave's got off. Oh, you want to throw a feast party. I can't think of a better way to have a feast party than having it at the resort. That would be awesome. Once they wake up, that is. And, of course, there's an emergency at the hospital. And Dave needs to go help out on Spooky Day. So much for that day off there, buddy. Go ahead and get up. You gotta get going. In the meantime, we got 778 simoleons from the resort. How did reviews go? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. You claim to be a luxury resort without a proper hot tub. This one's going down as a big time fail. Wow. Was the gym or a broom closet? I appreciate the resort's attention to pool cleanliness. Well, that's a good thing. Great choice in serving sushi at the buffet. Glad they liked it. I'll admit, I did eat quite a bit on vacation. Okay, reputation of the gym, even though there was no gym there. For food services seemed to be okay. It was hard to eat with the children whining about the lack of food. Whatever. Shut up. Stupid children. Seriously, they ruined the whole experience. You can't really expect much from the, the price you pay. Wow, okay. I liked waffles as much as the next girl, but not for dinner. Where's the steak? There, there's more food there than waffles? Stop, stop your complaining. I didn't bother working out at all this week because Jim totally sucked. Well, that's because we didn't have one, my dear. You suck. Alright, first and foremost, we're going to have to go ahead and do some work here with this. I want to squeeze another one here. Can I do it? No, clearly I cannot. Well, we'll do this. Then we'll do this. What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Seriously, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to block the whole way. Quit block. Quit being a road hog. Get. You know what? Glenda, go handle this. Oh, Glenda's sleeping. 
Oh, jeez. All I wanted to do is go ahead and freaking... Well, at least you got a four-star... Re Ooh, four-star resort. We're getting there. We're getting close to a five-star. For our little rinky-dink shack, we are getting so close to a five-star. Nice. We did rake in a plenty good amount of money. Look. Somebody get this beach bum out of the way. Quit being a beach bum, beach bum. Sheesh. Who is that? Valerie. Oh, I don't know about Valerie, but she's blocking the way. Maybe it was the trash. Let's try something. Maybe it was just the trash. Maybe we'll have some luck. I don't know. No, not basements. No, go back. Go back. Get that. Back. Yes. So on Spooky Day, when it started to rain and Glenda's doing some cleaning around the house, she got her little baby bump and she's in maternity clothes and there she goes heaving again. How lovely. How lovely. And she just had a wish she wants to have a girl and achieve 5,000 lifetime happiness points. So that's interesting. What, how does Dave feel? Dave has no preference. He's sleeping. He's tired. He really doesn't give two rats behinds what he gets, so he's just up there sleeping. So in the meantime, we'll see how this progresses as we try to go ahead and get the resort up to four stars. How will the baby grow? How will Dave handle being a doctor working all these crazy hours? And how's Glenda feeling in all this mess? Tune in next time for another episode of The Sims 3 Island Paradise to find out what's going on. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it. I'll see you all again next time.